Shout out Courtney. If you were stuck in the woods, would you rather come across a man or a bear? Let's say you're a woman in the forest, I'm a bear, we're getting married. Welcome. Today's episode of The Story Of. It's a little bit of a mixed bag. Today's story is a mixed bag. Yeah. The story of two podcast hosts that are still getting the wraps around it, but we're getting there. Don't doubt us like that. No. You need to have confidence. I'll have confidence. Have the confidence. So we're going to talk about a, bit, a bunch of different stuff today. So we're going to talk about some like weird laws that exist and Jay's yep. done all this research so we'll, we'll listen to him. We'll talk about a new show that we just watched on Netflix and loved and we're going to talk about like fighting sharks, question mark, question mark, question yep, mark. Yep, fighting sharks. <laughs> um, and then we're going to play some trivia and we're really excited. We've got a fair few trivia questions to ask each other to test each other's knowledge yeah. on our chosen topics. So let's jump. It'll be fun. Jump, dive right in with the sharks. Dive right in. Oh, you want to get that one up? Um, no, I was just trying to make like a metaphor oh. of like diving. <laughs> well, to bugger it. Let's do the shark question sure, first. let's do the sharks. Okay, All so right. I we were struggling on what to do on the podcast today and I asked my friend Courtney, shout out Courtney, what a legend, always up, has Courtney? the most obscure ideas and I love it. She Apparently, yeah. she's been thinking about it all the week. The first question from the audience. First question from the audience you. is- Paving the way, Christopher Columbus in the comments section. Is, would you win- in a fight with a shark? Like, if it was you versus shark, would okay. you win? Um, like, would you bet on yourself? I would... It depends on what... Sh- no, nah, I don't want to turn it into that kind of question. Um, I would want to say yes, as long as it's not a great white that's, like, 20 metres long. <laughs> right. So, so, if it's a little, like, reef shark, I'm going to say yes. Oh, yeah. Like, I would just keep booping its nose. To push it out of the way. Yeah. Until it goes away. Yeah. How many times have we been snorkeling? Once. Yeah, we're definitely qualified to talk on this subject. Hey, we seen a turtle. Yeah, we did see a turtle. When we went snorkeling. We heard a whale. We heard whales. We heard whales. That was cool. Wait, we didn't actually hear whales then, but we heard it on the footage yeah. that we caught. That was cool. Yeah. The whales um, were... Yeah, I feel like that it actually does kind of lead in, like the shark thing leads into another topic that has been a high debate on the internet. In the right. last week. I don't know whether you've heard about this. No, what's the topic? Um, and then I'll... If, <laughs> so, this, the, the question is, it goes out to women. If you were stuck in the woods, would you rather come across a man or a bear? Do you want to know what the sad thing is? Most women are choosing bear. They would rather Why? fight a bear than see a random man in the woods. I mean, I guess There's a lot that. of stuff's going on at the moment. Like, in the, me- like, the media is very much showcasing male violence towards women. Yeah. And, like, it is quite prominent in society at the moment. Like, there's a real big light going onto it. And there has been a lot, like, I don't know the exact number, but I know close to 40 women have been killed in Australia so far this year, which is pretty, pretty like, intense stuff for, like, such an early part in the podcast. But <laughs> I just realised... <laughs> hey, like, what about yeah. killings? <laughs> I just realised we're so this... close in the... Yeah. We're so early in the podcast <laughs> and I'm talking about these... Things, but um, yeah. So a lot of people are saying, like a lot of women are saying, they would rather fight a bear I'm, in the woods than a man. If I was a woman, if I was to, and yeah, yeah, yep. Not that that's <laughs> what constitutes that, but <laughs> sure. if I didn't have this, um, if I was a lady, I would want probably a man that is a bear, like a dude who's built for the forest. You know, like a grizzly man, like a like a lumberjack guy. Yeah, because they're like. Friendly, generally. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> generally, they're friendly, goodness. I guess. But yeah, I'd want a man bear. I a bear want, man. I would want a baby bear. Or you'd want a bear man, and then he's. I would want a baby. That's bear what you don't want. That doesn't know that they have claws yet. A baby like, bear. Yeah, that doesn't know they're dangerous yet. So and a like, cub, a bear. Yeah, cub. like a little cub. I could do that. You know that'd be probably worse because then if the bear cubs there, the mama bear is like. Not too far away. She'd go, ah. But what if they choose me to be their mama bear? Yeah. <laughs> this is why we don't put... This yeah. is why we don't take uh, questions from the internet. We but take them was, from our loyal no, fans. But, no, 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 but that was a very interesting topic that I've seen yeah, yeah. come up. That's cool. Um, that, and, I was, yeah, I was very interested. The bear. Imagine, yeah. Society is I'd, very ta- I'd still take the shark in the forest. 
the shark in the forest. Yeah. <laughs> I would win against the shark in the forest. That'd be good. But yeah, that's a very interesting kind of like would cool. you rather that's okay. going around at the moment. And Honestly, kind of- I would probably say the man. Anyway. It, yeah. It depends what the man looked like. Because If bear, I can make a snap judgment on the man. A bear weighs like 200 and something. If you're like way out in the forest. Yeah. Like no roads. I don't know how the fuck you got out there in the first place, lady. But <laughs> you're probably... You're probably not... You shouldn't be answering this question if you got yourself in the place of being lost in the forest in the first place. But... Yeah, I would probably pick the man. Bears are huge and they're fast. True. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's a very interesting... <laughs> that's, a, that's just a very interesting topic that the majority of women are choosing a bear, a bear. because they're not feeling safe with men at the moment. But either way, we're all just like picking the bear or the man over but the internet without actually, actually in that being situation. in the, you would find- you would hope there's a bloke around the corner. You would hope there was anyone yeah. around the corner. Yeah, literally. Yeah, You'd if hope there's another bear. lady lost in the forest with you. At least you could do it together. Leave your die together yeah. with, against a bear. Yeah. I don't know. The Revenant was a messed up movie. Never seen it. Go, All right. Well, maybe we should watch that movie and then come back <laughs> and watch Sorry, that three and a half pause. hour movie yeah, no. and then come back <laughs> and choose that question. Yeah. Do, choose the answer for that question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. We didn't even do our good versus no, bad No, we didn't vibes. do our good versus bad, but <gasps> mine kind of segues into our first topic anyway. So, I'll okay. start with yours. So, what's your good, good versus bad for the week? Um, my good vibes was our Sunday drive that we had today. Yep. We had top down on Jay's Jeep, drove down to Palm Beach, and had the most delicious, authentic Mexican food. It good. It was so good. Shout out to... What the hell are they called? Coast. Costa Tacos. Costa Tacos. Gold Costa Tacos. They have a place in Palm Beach and in Bondi. Yes. No. Byron. Byron Bay. Byron, Byron Bay. Bay. Sorry, I was like, Bondi? No. So they have Palm Beach and Byron Bay. They have their authentic Mexican. They use fresh produce only. They have birria tacos, which are absolutely oh, to die for. Jay had the most delicious na- nachos. Nachos, yep. I had a virgin margarita. Threw on some chili chipotle honey sauce. It was oh, it was good to die for. But yeah, so fresh. and also so reasonably priced. Yeah, honestly, for such a big serve. And considering they're like getting all local produce and stuff. Yeah, yeah absolutely insane. Check them out if you're close. They're so good. Even if you travel up to the Queensland area, Costa go tacos. and see them. Costa Holy tacos. Dolly. They're delicious. Um, that's my good vibes. Yep. My bad vibes. All of our outdoor plants. Bear question. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, all of our outdoor plants have died. That is a bit of a bad vibe, but so I want to throw it out the question of: Does anyone know any plants that can like withstand Gold Coast heat? Because a I don't want to have to. Yeah, it, like a direct. Well, it doesn't hit like direct, hit direct, because it it is under the cover of our like but, upstairs apartment, but it does get quite. But directs, like the, the, yeah. In, it gets, in the morning. It gets direct sunlight. You're correct, Now that actually. we're in that time of the year, like it's yeah, it's cocked over. So we yeah. bought plants that were specific for higher temperatures, like the right climate, direct sunlight, and they died. Yeah. I, I kind of- Two survived. Our aloe plant and then our jade plant. Well, they were the two that survived. Yeah, it didn't help we were away for two weeks. No, they were dead before that. They were, yeah. Oh, but there was a couple of the the herbs and that. But yeah. once we got back from our wedding, it was kind of like, yeah, yeah true. they we were for <laughs> lost cause. Yeah. So I had to get rid of them today, which was pretty sad. But yeah. I'm happy. I think I might just go buy a bunch of succulents that can kind of withstand. Yeah, yeah, because the succulent out there is still good. That's probably sure. the idea. Yeah. Nice. But yeah. So that was our my bad bad vibes. That is a bad vibe. They were such cute plants when we put them in, and they died. I'm really yeah. sad about it. What's yours? Uh, my bad vibe for the week. Um, oh, I didn't even think of a bad vibe because honestly, it's been a good fun week. Um, yeah, for one, I was going to say it rained while I was at work the other day, but honestly, raining while working outside is kind of fun sometimes. If you're all like rugged up in a jacket and that, um, me and the homeboy Harry were like wheelbarrow and stuff in the rain and it was actually kind of fun. Anyway, um, yeah, so I didn't really have a bad vibe for the week. 
Um, well, we finished that that movie. It was sad. The not this movie, the oh, show. Yeah, we finished watching. We were the lucky. We were the ones. lucky ones, which we probably talked about on the podcast before. But yeah, we finished that episode one. But that wasn't a bad vibe. It just made me cry, which crying is sometimes a bad vibe. I know. It you was, know what? I was yeah, I was, was so fine. I was like close to tears for like majority of the final episode. I was in tears way before you. But no, no, no. Because like <laughs> I was like trying so hard to hold it in. But then there's like no sp- completely spoilers, but there's like a scene with a child and that got me. Yeah. yeah it was the, when the, the it was when the kid I which wasn't even the Tears. first kid in the TV show. but No, <laughs> like I just, oh my God. Like it was yeah. just, I'm tearing up thinking about it, it again. It was good. It was good. Oh, that so was that good. was a bad vibe. But anyway, after that, we immediately started watching Shane Gillis, Steve Gerben, McKeever, Tires, oh, etc. Tires, so etc. I don't know it's called. It was so funny. So good. Honestly, like I was going into it thinking it would be like their skits. Um, shout out the dogs. But the skits they do are like... Low budget, just super funny. I mean, you could tell it was like Dude, lower was budget good. than a Netflix production, but it was so good. It reminded it me so of like funny. the start of The Office. You know what yeah, I mean? Like yeah. that kind of vibe and quality. Like, like High School Musical budget. No, level. no, no, no. <laughs> no, as in like The Office. Yeah. Um, or like, no, yeah, kind of The Office is like. That's or the like first one that comes to Parks mind, and yeah. Rec, kind of like the very first start. One's always like like the pilot. Bones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it's always the best too because oh, the, the jokes 100%. are raw and you've got to you've got to feed off the comedy. There's something in your eyeball. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. All right, that's fine. Okay, keep going. Anyway, yeah, um, so I I was a bit worried. Yeah. At first, with tires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're worried. So in what way? Well, because I mm, comedian shows are always like really mm. hit or miss. Yeah, because you got to be into their comedy as well. Yeah, and every time you turned on Beautiful Dogs, I'd sit there and go. Doing it, can we watch something else? Because yeah. Jay got Jay was in this phase where he would literally watch Beautiful Dogs, Shane Gillis' Netflix special, once a week. When it first came out. When it I first was came out. It. Once but a it week. was also and hard because like, it was hard to it's a hard one to swallow. There's a middle section in there which kind of like gets to a comedy that I don't like. So I have to watch it in weird verse. Yeah. And I was like, he'd turn on the TV and he'd go to put it on and I'm like, can we just watch something else? <laughs> But there is a few, like, of Shane Gillis' skits that I've seen and, like, not his skits, like his stand-up stuff that I've seen that I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. That's actually really funny. Mm. So I was giving it a try and I was very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it was good. It's not, like, intelligent no, humor, no. but it's good. But it's good. It's good dumb comedy. Like, it's great. And the main character, he's so cool. Steve Gerben. Yeah. That, that 20 character, minute episodes. Will, is so funny. 20 minute episodes, so good, so watchable, so bingeable. But even thinking back, like after we finished it, that whole last couple episodes or whatever, I don't want to spoil anything, but I was realizing by the end of it, oh, they've actually like written proper like character arcs for all these people. Like Will's character arc of like yeah. going over and then actually being the guy who's doing all the right yeah, stuff yeah. and they all love him. And oh, it's so, yeah, it's actually kind of, it, the last episode is kind of pretty. Like it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh. It's actually That's a cool. cute comedy. And like, <laughs> and, like, it's really cool because, like, you know, there's every episode it talks about, like, Will's dad is, like, a unna- – like, un- what is the word? Un- uh, unseen character yeah, yeah. just named. You know, you hear all about them. And then in the last episode you get this reveal. And he's just there. And it's so – oh, it's oh. so good. I can't wait. And it's getting another season. And it's getting another season already. How so good. So much fun. Yeah. I'm actually really excited. I, I hope the second season is just as good as the first. Yes. It was super cool. I think that's so cool. And you were telling me about how Shane Gillis actually got this, like, show to happen with Netflix, which I think is a really cool, like, yeah. explanation and, like, a really cool business move on Shane's part and Netflix's part. Yeah. With it. So, you explain that. So, I think, yeah. So, paraphrasing, but I'm pretty certain he's, like, let them film at the comedy special to put the comedy special on Netflix. In exchange. In exchange for getting, what do you call that? A deal? The platform. A deal to put it on the platform, to put Tyres, like, one of his sketch shows. Because Tyres had a episode which is taken off YouTube now. I wish it wasn't. I'm sure it is still on there somewhere. Like someone, But the pilot episode that somewhere. they've like funded previously is on um, YouTube. It goes for like 10 minutes. 
and it's so funny. Same thing. Like, it's yeah. hilarious. Um, it's about, like, all the guys in the shop are trying to, like, create a, the, like, um, like the women's awareness episode, like the first episode that they actually did, but it was more about, like, them putting awareness out for, like, sexual harassment and whatever, and you can imagine all the jokes around that. And there's this 10-minute episode on there, and it never got picked up. That was, like, six years ago. Oh, wow. So then they finally put it together. So, yeah, I think he had some deal there. Um, I think that's so cool. That's such a smart yeah. business move. Yeah, there's more behind it. I'll have to I'll have to listen to that episode again and find out what, what exactly it was because it was a super cool story. Yeah. But, yeah, now, so cool. now they've got that deal, and it's it's really cool. Already getting a second season. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, like, it's- he's had, like, oh, he had this – they had this funny story. They're, like – hanging out with the Netflix guys and, like, all these football dudes. And now Netflix is, like, getting him to stand up and do comedy and, you know, like, against all his idols or whatever, with all his idols there. And it's like, oh, that's actually a pretty cool story. So he's coming around quite good and I think everyone's jumping on board. It's pretty cool. That's so cool. Yeah. I think it's finally time for me to watch Beautiful Dogs. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It is is funny. There is some parts in there that are, like, even hard to swallow for me, but it's, Mm. it's like, um, yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Sweet. Yep. Well, the yeah. the big chunk kind of of this episode is it's gonna be is gonna be it's is gonna be trivia. It's gonna be the games. But <laughs> before we get to trivia, I really want to know what the like. Do you want to do oh, three top three, three laws? Most obscure laws right. that are still like. Well, I'll tell you. Either this- still exist now, yep. or like were put into place. So I've Previously. got some screenshots on my phone. I'll tell you how this came came to be. You've told me some of these before. Yeah, this first one, the reason this started, the reason I actually looked this up. These are like your fun facts. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of hard to be restricted to three because <laughs> okay. I just, um, this first one got me so good. So we were standing in Brisbane one day and there's like bush turkeys everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. Like they're not the bin chickens. I know what a bush turkey is. Like the red ones and the black, like they're red and black. Yes. They look like a turkey. They look like a turkey, yes. Anyway, <laughs> um, bush turkeys, uh, they're, main, they're illegal to kill. Really? Like, that's, what I, that's what I heard. I was like, oh, you, it's illegal to kill them. All right, so I, look, I looked that up. What's, why is it illegal to kill a bush turkey? Like way back when they killed bush turkeys because they tasted really nice or whatever. And yeah. then there's like, they put in fines against it because they became endangered. The environmental agencies are like, all right, you can't kill bush turkeys anymore. So they put a fine on it and it's just gone up and up and up. <laughs> so you can't move. So I found out you can't touch, move, like kick, like abuse, like anything. Fair enough, animal abuse. You, right. can't, you can't hunt them, anything. Turkeys kill chickens. So if you have backyard chickens, you could have a turkey. They're a pest. They're, they're not a pest pest, but they're a... They kill your Bordering chickens. Bordering on a pest. If a turkey killed my chickens, I'm killing that fucking turkey. <laughs> That's so aggressive. Do you, know how mu- do you know how much it is if you kill a turkey? And get fined. And get fined. Get fined it out. Get fined no. out. <laughs> get fined. How much um, is it? So, the penalty for taking or killing a brush turkey, which is a bush turkey, um, bush turkey ranges from $667 to a maximum of $133,000 or one year in prison. Excuse me, one year in prison if for you killing a turkey? killing a turkey. That's the maximum? <laughs> That's the maximum. So you can spend a year in the slammer for killing one of those turkeys if they, like, kill your chicken. Imagine that with, like, talking to your bunkie in prison. <laughs> what are you in for? Yeah, I killed a man. What are you in for? I killed, killed a turkey. turkey. He's like, yeah, same, brother. I killed a man. No, I killed a turkey. <laughs> like a bush turkey. Yeah, oh. yeah. Men are such turkeys sometimes. No, like, like a turkeys. literal turkey. <laughs> yeah. And um, in that's in Queensland, but in New oh South Wales, goodness. 22 grand. You guys got it easy. You guys can kill as many turkeys as you want, basically. Oh, if you have You guys can kill five there. turkeys to our one. Wow. Much. Yeah, so... New South Wales. Is that has it gone so high just because of like I think it's inflation, because of inflation or something? And stuff. Yeah, like I would assume just as things have gone, it's just compounded. I guess, yeah, yeah. It's and one they of those just weird laws that it. stayed in place. That's so yeah. Funny. I'm sure they haven't forgot about it, but they're not going to get rid of it. Like I don't know how many people get imprisoned from turkey killings every year, but <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know that number. That would be so good. Um, so I have some more. I have some more. Yeah. Ones, okay. And I would like to 
wonder your hypothesis on how the hell did these become laws? Like, what did the first person do for them to go, yep, this has to be legislated? Right. All right. In Western Australia, you can get in trouble for cleaning sea, like seagull poo or bat droppings without a license. Without a license to clean, you can't clean seagull poop or bat poo. Is it because I know <laughs> bat poo has disease in it? And like bats, you need to be careful. Right, yeah, So maybe. would it be like something to do with like a disease? Maybe. Like do you reckon someone like cleaned up and collected seagull and bat poo to and then, then spread a disease? Oh, yeah. Like the first person was like, yeah, I'm just going to clean that up. And they didn't clean like it up the bucket. Like it was malicious? Yeah. Like and they spread a disease? Or did they murder someone with bat poo? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, because – when I was in Malaysia, I know it's different because it's not Australia. Mm. When I was in Malaysia, we had to be really careful when we went into the caves to make sure we didn't get bat poo or like... Because of diseases. Or Yeah, so, because of diseases. I don't so, know exactly the, the disease, but... Yeah. Like, you know how malaria is in mosquitoes yeah, and yeah. stuff like that? There's stuff that's in bats. So, how did you... Wait, so you have to watch for bat poo. So, did you have to like look up? I had to be careful. Yeah, the walk. No, you just had to be careful. Oh, okay. And like, we couldn't... We couldn't, um, like, take anything with us out of the yeah. cave. Yep. And, like, we couldn't disturb the bats to make them, like, fly at you or anything because if they scratched you or anything like that as well. Yeah, I understand the scratching and stuff because I think bats have, like... But no, it's also bat droppings. Same wow. thing. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. So maybe that was it. Maybe, maybe someone, like... Maybe someone... You know, it's like the lady, the mushroom lady in from... Oh, oh, too soon? <laughs> the mushroom I lady. Don't know. Uh, I don't yeah, know. All I know is all, all I know is anymore. mushroom poisonings have gone. There's been three cases of it this yep. year alone. That's after the... that lady. <laughs> yeah. What would you rather eat a bear or a mushroom? <laughs> <laughs> what would you rather be poisoned by mushrooms or bat poo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the forest. Um. Alrighty. What's uh, the next one? Next one I've got is. <laughs> uh, if you're tempted to make chippies in Western Australia, there's another Western Australian one. If you're tempted to chippies. make chippies, like, like hot chips, like chips, yeah. If you're tempted to make chips, um, carrying more than 50 kilos of potatoes is illegal unless it's been bought from a grower or a retail, a retailer that's authorized by the Potato Corporation. So unless you buy from a registered retailer that has been authorized by the like a wholesaler kind of yeah that is authorized to sell over unless the board of potatoes has sanctioned it you can't carry over 50 kilos otherwise you face a fine up to five thousand dollars for the offense so if you're carrying 50 kilos that's okay grab another potato 50 kilos and 300 grams sorry mate sorry mate where'd you get this we're gonna need to confiscate these chippies where did you, where'd you get these potatoes? Oh, did you what get if them they're already? Thing? Nah, but that's, that brings a good question. What if they're already been processed into chippies? Surely you can just carry... So you can carry 50 kilos of chippies as much as you want and then somehow reforge them back into potatoes. But you can't carry 50, grams, 50 kilos of potatoes. Does that make sense? Again, I think that's a disease one. The first guy like carried... But how did it get put at 50 kilos? Did one guy have like a... 100 kilos worth of potatoes and they're like, oh, he's sick. Maybe we should put a limit on that. No, but like- <laughs> maybe, m- maybe the whole authorised by a certain seller thing was mm. that someone was trying to like undercut potato sales or something. Oh. Like someone was trying yep. to like backyard sell these potatoes for cheap. Yeah. And they were like, no, nah, if you were going to wholesale potatoes, right, wholesale like is a decent amount. 50, 50 kilos is a decent amount of potatoes, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a fish and chip shop mm. amount of potatoes. So if they're trying to like, if there's a backyard place trying to like undercut all the wholesalers and they didn't like that, yeah, the chippies, the chippy corporation is going to be like, no. <laughs> no. You need to have it from one of our authorised sellers as if you're buying over 50 kilos as in wholesale. Yeah. So that they know where all of... Their produce is coming from and going. Yeah. Like they have a trace. Yeah. Actually, I've, I've got a funny story about that. During COVID in like India somewhere, pretty certain it was India, 
they put like lockdown restrictions on this town and a guy who worked in the town was like, I need to get back to my family. Like, well, you can't leave the town unless you're produ- like you've got produce, um, you're a distributor, something like that. So he had the money to go out and buy a truck and two tons of onions. He bought two tons of onions because he was like, yeah, that's what distributors do. Onion, like people who, because he's seen all these people like at the markets with bags and bags and bags of onions. He was like, oh, they must be distributors. They must be able to go wherever they want. So oh, I'll no. buy two tons of onions, put them in the back of a truck and drive back to my family. He drove back to his family. And he's gone around the town like, oh, I need to get rid of these onions. <laughs> so he's like, oh, <laughs> going around the town trying to sell onions, but... He's just gone from one town with onions to another town. Onions are like the easiest thing to grow to another town that has two tons of onions. Oh, my goodness. Everyone and their mama has onions. <laughs> so, he can't get rid of the onions. And anyway, he makes it back to his family and like the onions are rotting in the truck in the middle of town. And then he ends up getting taken away because he's got a rotting truck of two tons of onions anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is like at the start of COVID and... In India, somewhere. That's so Yeah, I do bad. remember getting told that story. Yeah, it's so funny. Uh, uh-huh, so stupid. But so much work and then it got that happening. Yeah, just, that just reminded me of that mm. as, soon as, you, as soon as we talked about those potatoes. All right, do you have one more? I do have one more, um, which is kind of funny because we have we just got married. It's my wife. It's my husband. I took <gasps> off mine to wash my hand. It's in there. He's not married. I wash my hands. He's single, folks. No, I'm joking. What? <laughs> You're not wearing your ring. <laughs> yeah, it's in, the, it's in the bathroom. I wash my hands after I did a poopy. Oh, well, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> I would take that. Anyway. Um, <laughs> it's the only excuse. Weird. That is the only excuse I will allow. Uh, it, anyway, so seeing as we just got married, um, it's illegal in South Australia, which this doesn't make any sense from... What we got asked before you get married. Okay. Do you take the... Because we just had the... Yep, we just had to do the whole process. It's illegal in South Australia to object to a wedding. What's the penalty? $10,000 or two years imprisonment if you object to a wedding. So... So if you get up... So, you know, like back in the day, or Mm. you can still have it in wedding ceremonies, Mm. is the whole, if you do not think this couple should be married, please object now. Or forever hold your peace, right? That yeah, yeah. used to be a saying. It's in like every movie and it's mm. always a dramatic thing. They've literally just put in a law to stop that. Yeah, but let's say you're a woman in the forest. I'm a bear. We're getting married. <laughs> your dad goes, I don't want her to marry a bear. Prison. But, you know, what if I was like some crazy like high, high rolling wow. drug dealer or whatever? Your dad was like, I don't want you to get rid of it. Or like... Or, your mom or, or like a mo- some like a random person, you know, like, like um, like a crazy like right? mother-in-law. Not that my mother-in-law is crazy; she's lovely. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> Roxley. <laughs> uh, this is not about you. Shout out, mom. This is not about you. You are lovely. But if she objected love you. to that, but if it, like I've heard so many stories about crazy mother-in-laws mm. that they literally do object, so they can't do it in South Australia. Yeah. So anyone who has a crazy illegal. mother-in-law, get married in South Australia. Yeah, there you go. Because they can't object. Yeah. We were going to do that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stop it. I'm going to have to beg her, beg her yeah, on the phone have... for like hours yeah, Mom, after don't she watches watch, this. Don't watch episode three. <laughs> do not watch episode three between minutes 26 and 30. Yeah. <laughs> you can Spot skip on. that. <laughs> Literally. If you're my mom, press this. Press the caption to skip. To skip. <laughs> oh, but only if you're Jay's mom. Only if you're my mom. Um, That's yeah, so no, funny. And that actually brings up a good question. So, who? So, in states that aren't South Australia, who's allowed to object? Like, if if you get married Anyone. in public, is a stranger allowed to go? Wait, yep, yeah, that one. Don't agree with it. Ooh. Like, if they have no relation to someone, do I they get two know. years in prison now? No, That's well, a weird law. I don't so know. It, that that kind of reminds me. You saying about like a stranger? That kind of reminds me that like in Victoria, because we did our learners permits and. P permits for driving and everything in uh, Victoria. P plates. P plates. <laughs> P plates. To P. Our P, yes. play, P plates and stuff like that in yeah. Victoria. And in your driving test to get your license for your P plates when you turn 18, if someone, if you're in the middle of that test and for any reason at all, someone behind you beeps, you automatic fail. Yeah, I've had that happen so to a few people. One of our friends. Uh, yeah. In high school, I remember he came to school and he was bummed out because the 
the person behind him beeped. He did nothing wrong. The instructor mm. even said he did nothing wrong. But purely for the fact that the guy behind him beeped, he had to fail. Yeah. Because it, technically it's it telling can, him he's the hazard. It can just be they can be having a bad day. Whether they that, could accidentally lean on the horn. Yeah. And I don't you know still if the, fail. I don't know if the driving instructor was um, like nice though. I think the driving instructor was like pretty mean. Not driving instructor, no, the person the who does tester. the test. Yeah. So the driving instructor said, said that like the guy wasn't in the fault, guy. but the, te- the, the tester, like yeah. from. It happens. Yeah. But that just reminds me of that. Like, you know, someone could have been having a bad day and accidentally honk the horn or something, and that ruins that yeah. person's thing. What if a stranger comes up in a park, acts it like, and just doesn't goes, accidentally, oh, but is wedding. having a bad day, being like, oh, I object, thinking they're funny? Yeah. If you're a stranger who's walking around weddings, don't do it in South Australia. Don't do it. Because you'll but get also, two years prison. <laughs> no, but also just don't do it. That's yeah. so not cool. But like that is Like why, don't interrupt someone's special day like that. Yeah, that is why I could see that law coming in place, which is pretty funny also when you think about like, oh, laws don't change flesh and blood people. So they probably put that in and then now more people object in South Australia because they're like, oh, you know, object against the law. I also think you, you know, should- creates the opposite. You've left me with way too many questions. I feel like you definitely should have researched the answers of why these were actually yeah. in before you before. told me these because I just I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about it. I just wanted to hypothesize why, like so what happened. Next, next episode, Jay will have the answers as <laughs> to won't. why. I freaking won't. I'll try. I need them. I'll try. I need them. And if I need them, they need them, Jay. Let me favorite those ones. So that I know Please. the answers. Please. I'll I'll look about why the turkeys actually are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Nice. While you favorite these, um, Jay and I have decided to do some trivia. So we both have kind of two topics that we're going to go off for each other to ask each other questions. We have chat GPT'd the trivia questions. So we have not come up with these ourselves. We have asked chat GPT to make some easy, hard, and extremely hard trivia questions on topics. Jay's two topics will be Star Wars and MotoGP. My two topics will be Harry Potter and then a mix between like fantasy novels. So the Throne of Glass series. What, did you do any Akatar ones? Um, I didn't do Akatar. No, okay, I did so Throne wing of Glass and Fourth bit. Wing. Um, oh, was I going to add a Harry Potter one in there? So well, we're going to do two topics each. Oh, okay, so like so. Harry Potter for me and like um, Throne of Glass slash Fourth Wing, like fantasy books. Yep. And then yours are Star Wars and MotoGP. Cool. So we're going to do a couple mine, of easy ones, a couple of hard ones, a couple of extremely hard ones. Yeah. Mine's decided to get rid of everything that I loaded up before. So I'm actually going to rewrite. That's okay. While you rewrite it, I am going to... Have a look, and yeah. I reckon we do too easy, too hard, too extremely hard. Do you want to do that on each? We'll just do oh. one of each so far. Sorry, I need to. Uh, We're just going to pause while Jay does this. We're going to pause. Sorry. Yo. Okay, so we're back. Fixed. Chat GPT decided to erase all Jay's things, so we had to put it back yes. through. And apparently it doesn't know what fourth wing is. Yeah, it really doesn't know what fourth wing is. I've written... So there'll be no fourth wing questions. Fourth wing's like the biggest book out right now. <laughs> um, even I've read... No, I haven't read it. I've You've listened, listened to, it. to it. Yeah, I shouldn't get, get myself ahead of that. Um, yeah, don't be too Anyway, I've, like, I've written in there like a prompt. Give me 10 really hard fourth wing trivia questions with answers, um, which gave me... Who is the author of the fourth wing? What is the fictional universe of the fourth wing? <laughs> like, oh, okay. So it doesn't know what the hell's going on. Um, but the fictional universe, it's the Empyrean series. But, okay. It gave Empyrean the answer series? as there isn't a widely known book titled Fourth Wing. So <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was the okay. answer it gave for the trivia Chat question. GPT needs to up its game. Anyways, yeah. I'm going to do, we're going to do one easy, one hard and one extremely hard question on each topic. And then we're going to see how we go with adding extra ones near the end. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Um, I can give you an easy one. Yep. Okay. So easy for Harry Potter. Yep. Um, oh, who is Harry Potter's best friend? Ronald Weasley. Ronald Weasley is correct. You went really easy. Yeah. 
Do you want a harder one? No, that's fine. It's fine. We're doing easy first. Okay. Who is Harry so- Potter's <laughs> next best friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your easy Star Wars question. What color is Yoda's lightsaber? Green. Correct. Ding. Ding. Next I'm one. not even like the biggest Star Wars nerd, but I'm going to be able to get this out. Uh, so the easy question for Throne of Glass. Now? Oh, yeah, sure. Tell them to them. Or would you, we just want to do easy, medium, hard for each? Each thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll so that. we're on the same train, the same um, wavelength. Okay, this next one is... Uh, who was the headmaster of Hogwarts before Albus Dumbledore? Oh, I know his name. Is that too hard? Have I gone too hard already? Some of these are pretty hard, so... Uh, Damn, I know his name. Starts with... Does that D? I mean, the last name does. Yeah. Yeah, like... <laughs> same initials as Mr. Dumbledore. I know. Mr. Professor, sorry. <laughs> Professor Dumbledore. Uh, it's not Diggle. It's not. It's... No. Because there's, there's Daedalus Diggle, but it's not Diggle. Um. Oh my God! Uh, dum, dum, no, Jay. No. It's that's a hard one. Armando, dip it. Dip it. Dip it. Diggle, dip it. Yo, I dig it. Dip it. Okay. Bop it. Twist it. Hard. Armando, dip Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes. I don't want to go too easy in the hard questions for you. Oh, I mean, like. It's Who is the Chancellor of the Gra- Galactic Republic at the beginning of The Phantom Menace? The Chancellor is Palpatine. What's their name at the start when they're the Chancellor of the Galactic Republic? Oh, wait. Who is the Chancellor of the Galactic Republic at the beginning yeah. of The Phantom Menace? Who is the Chancellor? Of- I went for a name, like a person question because you went for a person question. Palpatine's not the Chancellor? I don't know. Chancellor oh. what? Wait. Uh, dude, I can hear someone saying that in my head, but... <laughs> That's the same with mine. I, unless I'm just hearing characters say, da, 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 speak to the Chancellor. I don't know. Do you give up? I give up. Chancellor Valorum. Valorum. Yeah, right. Beats me. Cool. All right. You're hard I knew I was going to be really. I knew I was going to be really good at this. <laughs> we also didn't brush up on the topics beforehand we either. Like this is completely cold. All right. Um, okay. This one is. Oh, maybe I gave you the hard one first. My bad. What are the three unforgivable curses? Is this in the extremely hard question? My prompt was, give me 10 extremely hard Harry Potter trivia questions. The three unforgivables? Yeah, I can give you... I'll search up another one. Avada Kedavra, Crucio. What are they? Oh, Cruciatus? Yeah, Cruciatus, the Crucio. Avada Kedavra, which is the death curse. Yeah, killing curse. And then there's... Oh, what's the third one? (gasps) Oh, no. I have not watched Harry Potter books in years. Oh. I have not read the Harry Potter books or watched the, the movies. Cruciatus Curse, the killing curse. Do you remember the scene with Mad Eye Moody? That's Crucio, sweetheart. Yeah. He does yeah. another one. He teaches all of them. He teaches all three. <gasps> I can't remember it. Do you I've want me blanked. to say it? Yeah, say it. Imperial. That's right. Goodness Imperious gracious. curse. I can't believe that. I just mind blank so hard. <laughs> Well, do you want like an extremely hard? Yeah, go for it anyway. Like we'll both learn something about Harry Potter regardless. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you want like, I mean, there's a really, really, really Ooh. hard. I just wrote in extremely hard questions again. I ain't heard a half of this shit. Do you want so. me to do like an extremely hard one? Oh, dude. Yeah. Go, like any, any you want. Yeah. I'll give it my best. That's for sure. <laughs> or I'll get it totally wrong like I did the last one. Okay. 
What is the number of the trash compactor that Luke, Han, what? and Leia end up in aboard the, what is the Death the, Star? Get, no one knows <laughs> exactly. that. Exactly. <laughs> no. That's what I'm saying. What is the number of the trash compactor yep. that they all get stuck in? Yep. 326 3827. How the fuck is <laughs> it to get that? 362387. <laughs> no, 326 Oh my god. I'll, no give you a, I'll give you a different extremely hard question. I just thought that, that was is the a good funniest one, thing ever. That is hilarious. Yeah. Um what are That's the so names? Funny. <laughs> what are the names of the two pod races Anakin beats to win the Boon to Eve classic? Two people that two pod races that he beats. Chesco Sabolba. <laughs> Not Chesco Sabolba, but Sabolba. That's how he says Sabolba, yeah. That's how he says hello to him. There's another one. What's the second one? Um, Sebulba and Sebulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> it's second Cross form. Crossover. <laughs> um, Sebulba and is Bunta Eve the, the track? Bunta Eve Classic is the race. The track, damn. Uh, so there's Sebulba and... So that's with G. Gordio. No, I don't know. Gascano. Gascano. Ah, I, knew, I could hear the guys saying that in my head. Yeah. Welcome to the Bunta Eve Classic. Yeah. The two-headed dude. There you go. Damn. Do, can, do you want me to give you another crazy yes, hard please. one? That's not. I actually thought you were going to get that one, to be honest. I can just completely blanked. I can say my oh. brain is not really working. Actually, there was an add-on to that question, which was what were the unforgivable curses and who performed all three of them in the series? Moody. Moody. Oh, and which characters performed them? So, Moody, Voldemort, Bellatrix. Oh, yeah. There was also another one in there which they've given, which was Barty Crouch Jr. did the Imperio <gasps> curse. Yeah. Imperio, yes, curse. Uh, anyhow, I'll go to um something else. So, really, really hard one. It's sure. from the books. We'll see how I go. I'm sure it's from the books. Um. What is the name of the witch who wrote The Rise and Fall of the Dark Arts, a book often mentioned in the series? The Rise and Fall of the Dark Arts. A witch. She wrote it. Yes. Oh, I don't. Oh. I think I'll say it and you'll say yes. Because you always watch Harry Potter trivia on the TV. <laughs> don't expose me like and that. You, and I've, I think I've heard you say this person's name. The Rise and Fall of the Dark Arts. Yeah. A witch wrote it. Can you give me, like, initials? Uh, the, it, the first letter of the initials, J. B. Well, because I was going to give both initials, first and last, but just B. <laughs> the only witch name in my head right now is Mephelda Hopkirk, but it's not. Ooh. It's not. No, but that first name's kind of close. It's Belinda. Ooh. Belinda. No. What was the last one you said? Mephelda. Mephelda Hopkirk. That's funny. That's really close to this first name. Mephelda. B. Bofelda. <laughs> it's t- close. No, I don't know, Jay. Bethilda Bagshot. Bethilda, Bethilda Bagshot? Yeah. Did I she knew. write that? They, she wrote that. You know, she's the old lady that like the, they kill to the, the snake embodies in... Deathly Hallows. Oh, the old lady. That's her. That lived in um. Now all, all I in can Godric's is, Hollow. I the back shot. Yeah, in but Godric's she Hollow, that. she lived two doors down from the Potters when right. Harry was a baby. Okay. And across the road from the Dumbledores back in the day. I see. So that's her. You know what, Jay? If you had have actually given me the initials like I asked and said BB, I would have gotten it. Well, I said B, and then I was like, oh, I was going to give you first and last, but it's B. Yeah, but you need to B. say BB. All right. Because you, you just gave me one. B. B, 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 B. Okay. Next topic. Next. You go. Oh, me. Yeah, you, you me went. To go again? Um, so, next one for you is Throne, of, Throne of, Glass. of Glass. Yep. You won't know any of what is I don't hard, know what is not hard. hard. Yeah. I don't know if they're right or wrong. So, this could go either way, folks. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't even know half the characters. I've heard you say these people, but I'm like, sure. You've seen me cry over these people. Yeah. Um, so, obviously, the author is Sarah J. Mass. Yes. Uh, who is... Uh, sorry, what is the capital city of Adalan? Who is the capital city of Madalan? 
What? What is what is the capital city of Adelan? Adelan. Adelan. I'm <laughs> so wrong <laughs> every time. It's okay, guys. Once the graphic audiobooks come out, Jay will read it. Don't worry. Yeah. What is the capital city of Adelan? What is the capital city of Adalan? These are the easy ones, apparently. Adalan. And then it starts with A as well, doesn't it? Uh, no. It starts with R. Rochfield. Rot- Rotfield? Rot- I've never said these names out yeah, loud. Nah. No, you haven't said this one, but I see Rick- some of them. Rickfield? Oh, it's close. It's something like that, but I've never said these names out loud. Yeah, I've only read them. It's an... That's what it would be if this word was translated to some, like, English town. It's Rifthold. Rifthold, yeah, yeah sorry. Ri- oh, Rifthold. Rifthold. Rif- I, I I've, never Rif- said, I've never said these names out loud. This is going to be hard. Yeah. So, Rickfield, I could see how you got that. I said Rift- Riftfield. Yeah, yeah. It was close. Yeah, it was close. Okay. Yours is MotoGP. Your Mine's MotoGP. Yes. Easy. And Easy. the thing is, I actually know. What noise do they make? <laughs> <laughs> thing is, I actually know about MotoGP a bit, so I'll be able to. Yeah. Okay. What is the maximum engine displacement allowed in MotoGP? Currently, it's 1,000 cc's, but it used to be in 2008. It was regulated to 800 cc's, but it's actually going back to 850 cc's. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> in a few years, it's gone back up. It's going back down to 850 okay, cool. years, which will be so need, cool. I didn't need all that information. Because apparently they don't use it. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. <laughs> You're Just good. immediately nerd out. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's too easy for you to nerd out. Uh, next question. Yeah. It will go sort of a medium. Again, I don't actually know if this is a medium question. What is the name of the prince who becomes... Salinas? Dorian. No, I'm joking. Is it actually Dorian? It's Dorian. Dorian, what's the last name? Havilard. Havilard. Is it Selena? Selena. So the Selena question. Sardothian. The, that was the answer. That is correct. Ding. You got it right. <laughs> it was what is the name of the prince who becomes Selena's friend? Dorian, Dorian. Havilard. 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 Have a lot of blood. What? <laughs> Havilard. Yeah, that. Havilard. He is also the Prince of Adelan. There you go. Yeah. How's that? So, was that a hard question or was that? That was an easy one. That's an easy question. Oh, okay. The other one was a hard one. Yeah, wow. But that's also because I just couldn't remember the name. Yeah, I've, I've just written in Rift Hold Out Loud. Easy, medium, and extremely hard. Okay. Your hard question? My hard question? What's my hard question? Hmm. Which hmm. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> Do you want like a recent yeah. question or an older question? Oh, older, newer. I don't, okay. I don't mind. Who won the MotoGP World Championship in 2006, breaking Valentino Rossi's streak? Uh, 2006. So 2006. Valentino Rossi's streak was before that. I want to say either Nicky Hayden or Jorge Lorenzo. Choose one. Mm. It's one of them. Choose one. It's one of those two. Nikki Hedden. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, rest in peace. Nice. Um, dude, nice. I got that one straight away. Yeah. Jorge Lorenzo, I think, won at 2010. Maybe. 2009. Okay. Maybe 09. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is your turn. Next this question. is how this works. <laughs> this is how this works. It's back and forth, Jay. <laughs> I found my question and locked my phone. All right. Next one is... What is the name of the sword that Selena Sardothian, Sardothian. Sardothian wields? What's the name of the sword? <gasps> oh, I know it. Like the sword of Isildur. But. It's freaking, it's Gavin's sword. But that's That'd be a sick name. Yo, this is Gav's. No, it's. Gav's sword. I almost gave Can you say there. the first letter? A. Oh my god, I've read this so many times. Like I've read this name. Yeah. It's it's is it something breaker? No, but it is B. B is the first letter of the second word, but it's to do with a sword. B. A B. I've completely blanked. So it's the city. As soon as you say it. It's the city. 
Adalin. Adalins? Adalins Adeline? Blade. Adalins Blade. Adeline's Blade. Adeline's Blade. Is it not called that? I don't think so. Damn. I, I'll give you another one. Sorry. Um, if that is actually correct, I'm sorry as well, but I don't think that is. Sorry, Throne it of Glass fans. It depends. When does she wield it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll ask chat GPT. But, um, all right. What is the name of the mysterious tower in the glass castle? The mysterious tower. In the glass castle. Like the clock tower? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Like what is the name of the mysterious tower? It's a mysterious tower. Might hold dragons. Is there dragons in that book? No. Well, this word has something to do with dragons. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the word gate. W-Y-R-D. Oh, the word gate. Yeah. Yeah, which is a clock tower. Oh, it's a clock tower. So... It's not and mysterious it only, at all. It tells time. <laughs> it's literally a clock tower that is ends up being a word gate. All right. I'll try one more because this is kind of, I'm going to blame these ones on ChatGPT letting us down. I think it's also hard when it's like a book series like that. Yeah. Like it's pretty niche. What is the name of the Fey warrior who becomes Selena's- Rowan. Last name? Rowan. Whitehorn. Bingo. That is correct. That was good. Sorry, you talk about his ma- her mate. I'm like, yeah, easy, 100%. Yep. You know, his friends, Fenris, Gavriel, Lorcan. So, who is the king of Adalan? And, and Lorcan, Lorcan marries um, Would- Lady Lady Alid Lorcan. So, his name is Lord Lorcan of Lorcan. <laughs> it's so Lord funny. Lorcan of Lorcan. Lord, Lord Lorcan, Lorcan. Of Lorcan. I don't think it's of Lockin. And what is he? His name is literally Lord Lorcan Lockin. He's popping at Lockin. Yeah, it's really funny. Um, who is the king of Adalan? His name is also Dorian, but he is unnamed. Oh, did they not he's say just, his last name? He's just. This reckons it's Dorian. King Havilard. Havilard. Yeah, it's the same name. Oh, it's same name, but he's different guy. Different guy. Different Dorian. Well, Prince Dorian does become the king. Crap. I actually got out of it. That's okay, sure. Anyway. Anyways. So, Jay. Yes. Who? Let's go someone else. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what team did Casey Stoner ride for when he won his second MotoGP World Championship? HRC. Repsol Honda. Repsol Honda. This is like a... Who was the youngest motor... Rung... Blah, 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 blah. Back it up. Who was the youngest rider to ever win a MotoGP race? Oh, it could have been Pedro Acosta, but it's Marquez. Marquez? It could have been, but he recently apparently got past that age. So he so he can't do it now, essentially what I'm saying. <clears throat> but he's good. Mm. He's good. We're going to probably watch. Oh, this works. Later. Okay. This is, they're at this race at the moment as we're recording this. They're at the Barcelona yep. Catalonia race. Catalonia. What is the name of the corner at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, that was renamed in honor of Louis Salom? What is the corner named? What, so is, what, no, they call what is the name of the corner? So you can give me like what turn it is or the name. All right. That they renamed in honor of Louis. Damn, it's probably Salom. a trick. I don't know the best. This is an extremely hard question. Is it turn three? No. Damn. Don't know. It's turn 12. Oh, the hairpin? Lacaxia. Lacaxia. Yeah, C A I X A. So maybe not Lacaxia, but. Lacacia? Lacacia, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that's a good one. Yeah, I could not get I that. I can just keep going if you would like. Yeah, go for it. Let's Might as well knock off these last three minutes <laughs> with a MotoGP trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Which British rider won his most first MotoGP race at 2016 Czech Grand Prix? 2016 Czech Grand Prix. British rider. British rider. Got Redding? C. Oh, C. Cal Crutchlow? Yes. We met Cal at the Phillip Island. He's a legend. He's funny. Who? I don't know why I thought. Which funny. rider won the final 500cc World Championship in 2001 before the transition to MotoGP? Valentino Rossi. Mm-hmm. Mm. On the yellow bike. 
can't remember what it was. Who was the first Japanese rider to win a premier class race in MotoGP? Norik Abe. <laughs> how, how do you know that? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah. I've never heard that before in my life. Norik Abe. Which circuit hosts the Italian Grand Prix uh, in MotoGP? Mugello. Mugello circuit. Nice. Yes. Mugello. I don't Which know. Which rider won the MotoGP World Championship for the first time in 2020? 2020. Fabio Quattraro. Wrong. No? Oh. So, Pecco didn't win it. That year. Oh, is it 2020? Juan Mir? Juan Mir. Dang it. <laughs> I got my years wrong. You were that, so those last confident four years on Quattro like, too. Those last four years were whole you were one so year there. Confident. Yeah, that busted me that one. Which Spanish rider won the MotoGP World Championship in 2010, 2012, and 2015? 2010. 2012, 2015. Oye Lorenzo? Oye Lorenzo. Yeah. And then the hardest question of them all. Which manufacturer has a prominent red color scheme and is known as the Ducati? <laughs> I wonder which team. Sorry, let me go over this. So, which team has a prominent <laughs> red color and is known as known as the, the Ducati? Ducati. Mm. It's a really hard one. McLaren. <laughs> no, 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 it's obviously Ducati. But uh, what the PC's hell? Right. Yeah. How would they do that? I don't know. Do we want to talk about the Jack Jack Miller controversy? No. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that next episode. Yeah, maybe we'll talk MotoGP on I the think, next episode. I think we should do a genuine, like, full MotoGP episode yeah. next episode. Um, I think we should have a, probably a guest for that because we've got a lot of friends that watch it as well and they're super hyped for it. We could, we, we'll could. ask some friends yeah. and see who we we'll can get on, if we can get someone on. Yeah. I have one immediately in my brain. Yes. That'll probably say yes, but it might be a different setup. It might be like on a Zoom situation kind yeah, of. Yeah, we might have to do that. Like a split screen kind of thing because they're currently not yeah. in state. Like two is intimate. Three is- A crowd. A crowd. Oh, is a party. No, it's a crowd. It's a crowd. Four's a party. Four's a party. Yeah. We'll definitely get some guests on sometime. But yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks so much Thanks for, for watching. out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do everything that you're meant to do. Save the playlist, whatever it is. This was our mixed bag episode um where we just talked about yeah. whatever was on our mind which there will be quite a few of these episodes where we kind yeah. of just have a real mixed bag like mixed bag lollies what's your favorite bananas strawberries and cream what's my favorite lolly red frogs it probably was milk bottles but then slowly <gasps> as i've grown up it's gone to um candy corn no out of a mixed bag of oh, lollies, out of a mixed Jay. bag of lollies goodness Sorry, gracious I think just lolly in general no, mixed bag of lollies. i am a banana gal yeah you oh, you still milk bottles? Strawberries and cream? Milk bottles or race cars? Yeah, strawberries and cream are good. I thought I don't like strawberries and cream. Never liked them. Peaches and cream, I did like them, but then I had too many. One day when I was sitting on the couch Yikes. after school, went to the shop and got some peaches and cream, and I didn't like them. No, I was always a banana. <laughs> or, yeah, milk bottles were pretty good. I hated the teeth. You know, the teeth? teeth? Yeah. What oh. the hell? Why do they keep putting teeth in the fucking bags, oh. dude? They taste weird and minty. It's like, yeah. I guess because they're meant to taste like the fresh breath. You get after having brushing your teeth. Yeah, I suppose. I don't want to eat someone else's brush teeth. How is that a flavor? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now, get that out of the mixed bag. <laughs> let's let's debate let's debate mixed bags of lollies next round. Yeah. Um, next podcast. But thanks for joining in. I really appreciate it. Let us know if you have any topics you want us to cover because we're open to yeah, it. We will ruin and gas bag all over them, but it'll yes. be super funny. And it'll be really funny. And thanks for coming along. And if you've listened to this long, yeah. I'm proud of you. And let us know, which shark would you fight in the woods? A bear or a man? And on that note, bye. Bye. <laughs>